Hello, hello to all the amazing people, the Niamh here and welcome to another one of my Card Survival Tropical Island tutorials. This tutorial will cover how to get copper ores from the tunnel system and also how to actually get there. Well, part of it anyway. Uh, I think this will be pretty cool because copper tools and all other copper items in this game are pretty pretty useful and uh, finding a safe way to find copper would be beneficial to every player. I will show many different ways how to approach the problem from like the safer to less safe to also using some bombastic things to speed things up. Uh, you will be able to find the links in the pinned comment below to various areas of this video so you can watch what interests you the most. So yeah, uh, have fun, sit back, relax and enjoy and let's go. So in order to be able to find the tunnel system which contains the ores you will need to gain access to eastern highlands. In this section of video I will show you how to explore it. It might be a good idea to pin the sunburn bar here. And if you have any aloe vera, it might be a good idea to apply it. This is not mandatory, but it will help out if you're not burned while you're doing the task. You will also need lots of water because there's cobras in this area. So I do highly suggest that you have some water on you. And well, let's go and explore it. We just found our first copper ore here while exploring. That's first first of many to come. So yeah, this uh, copper ore is pretty much a thing guaranteed while exploring the, the Eastern Highlands and that's really good. I always find it and it's gonna be very useful. You can also notice that we found some aloe vera here. Aloe vera will help you to explore. So it's pretty nice that you actually find it in this area while exploring it to find the tunnel system. Okay, we just ran into our first cobra. I don't have any weapons equipped. You can always retreat from it. Uh, you might get spit on. Oh, there we go. It spat on my eyes before I could escape. So now I can show you why water is important. As soon as you get spat on, grab some water, go and interact your cleaned water with the cobra spit to remove it. Otherwise you will get permanent eye damage, which is something nobody really wants. Let's continue exploring. My feet hurt, so in order to like reduce that pain, I will go and craft myself a foot wrappings. This is optional, but you know, it's gonna help. And there we found, uh, there we go. We found the collapsed tunnels entrance. So that will be our first uh, part of the plan here. And in the next section, I will show you how to dig through it. And once you find the collapsed tunnel entrance, your exploration of Eastern Highlands is probably done. Unless maybe if you didn't find your copper piece, then might, maybe you want to continue exploring to find it. But other than that, uh, you are ready to proceed to the second part of your mining operation. Collapsed tunnel entrance. There seems to be a tunnel behind these rocks, but its entrance appears to have collapsed. Perhaps I can open it. This is an obstacle that stands between you and the tunnel system which contains copper. You can dig through it uh, by doing one hour actions and you will need 10 of them. It's quite possible that you will want to come here multiple times uh, in order to let your hands to heal between digs. Uh, personally, I think the simplest way to do this is to like dig four or five times. And then uh, I'll come back once your hands are healed and then just continue. I Usually I don't feel like rushing it. Uh, if your hands hurt, one of the things you can help out with it is to craft some uh, hand wrappings from a piece of cloth. That's the simplest way to do it. That's how I recommend it. You can also keep your aloe vera on that will heal your hands faster. Once you dig to 100, well, it will be done. Alternatively, if you like making dynamite, uh, you can go and just blow it up. There we go. Personally, I feel like 10 hours is not really that much and I always do it manually, but if you like the dynamite option, it is there. You can use the dynamite on the tunnel entrance when it's still on 0% and it will actually blow it wide open. You don't have to dig at all then, so <laughs> make sure you don't waste any time digging if you're planning to use the dynamite. I already created a dynamite tutorial, so there's gonna be a link to the video where I explain how to make it. Once you fully remove the obstacle to the tunnel entrance, you can actually enter it. 
Inside you will find a tunnel which cannot be explored but there's gonna be a copper vein inside and a narrow passage. Copper vein can be mined for copper and narrow passage can be cleared in order to gain access to the rest of the tunnel system. Let's start with the copper vein. I think this is copper, perhaps I can do something with it. Well, this is what we are here for. You can mine the copper by interacting any hammering tool with it. It will take one hour to mine and each time you do it, you will gain one piece of copper. You can do it up to three times to get up to three pieces. However, there is something else you can do when it's on down to 33%. Once the copper vein is down to 33%, if you mine it once more, you will get one more copper ore out of it. And well, that's it. However, there is another way. <laughs> A dark art not known to many. Uh, so if you have access to dynamite, you can actually blow up the copper ore vein. And it will actually give you three ores this time but as far as i know you can get up to five it will definitely always be more than one so if you want to like optimize your yield and get as much copper out of each one of your copper veins i uh, suggest to mine them twice and then leave them until you have the dynamite ready however in my opinion this is not really necessary i personally do not do it but if you're you know, a dynamite fan, then by all means, go ahead and do it. Once you mine out the copper inside the tunnel, if you wanna gain access to some more, you will need to widen this narrow passage here. This seems to connect to another chamber, perhaps I can widen it. You widen it by either interacting a hammering tool with it, it takes 30 minutes to do it, and it will take 20 of these for 10 hours total. Or if you have some happy sticks with you, you can also use that. Uh, Personally, usually I just dig through this one because it's pretty simple. You don't need a source of light or anything. But if you have plenty of dynamite, well, then why not? Once the narrow passage is cleared, you can enter it and you will gain access to the high chamber here. High chamber needs to be explored and it's pretty dark in here. In order to explore it, you will need some source of light. This is basically the same as the cave in wetlands. There are multiple ways you can do it you can use uh, a candle you can use a torch or you can just make a campfire and use that to explore here i'm gonna use a campfire i'm gonna prepare some fire here and I'm gonna dry uh light up some dry leaves i'm gonna dry up some leaves yep and then once you have a source of fire you can explore it it's pretty fast to explore. It's gonna be 10 explore actions here. You wanna find another copper ore vein here and you also want to find uh, the way forward. Explore everything here real fast. There we go. Bam. Again, copper vein is gonna have three copper in it if you mine it manually or you can also blow it up with the dynamite again. If you will use the dynamite, don't use it right away because the dynamite yield does not decrease, increase depending on durability here. You will always get, uh, I think three to five or three to six. So always mine out first two. And then if you really want it, you can use the dynamite. This time I will just mine it manually. I will take a little bit break here to talk about something really important and that's about uh, dynamite climbing and well what you really need in this game so here we have our uh, nine copper ores and two of them we got extra from dynamite we're gonna store these uh, you can get seven ores by manually digging you can get three ores from the tunnel the previous chamber you can get three more here from the high chamber without using any dynamite at all and you can find one in the eastern highlands <laughs> i think there's also one more in volcano but that's not important this is all you really need with seven copper ore you'll be able to smelt seven copper with that you can make the copper axe which is a sharp axe very very useful you can keep resharpening it and remaking it and you can also make a copper knife. It's gonna take you two for copper knife and two five for the copper axe. And in my opinion, this is all what you really need. Everything else is like extra flavor on top. I will show you the tools so you can decide what you want to do by yourself. Personally though, like for myself and for uh, any other player, I think it's actually optimal to just go grab seven copper and make 
copper axe and knife out of it and everything else like making dynamite takes a lot of time and effort and also climbing down the shaft to get access to even more copper well takes time effort and it's kind of dangerous but i will show you how to do it safely so you can do it if you like now i will show you something really really cool i will show you how to safely grow through the tunnel system dig out all the debris and make it nice and safely passable for your future uh, mining runs by using only the most rudimentary things i will be using a little bit of food i'll be using a little bit of water and i will be using wood sticks and bow drills and dry leaves something everyone should have available of course it is highly recommended that you actually use more improved stuff like candles and dynamite but it is not needed and i will show you how to do it first make sure your character is fine so wait for all the damage to heal and uh, that your morale is all right tish that you don't have any stress and put on yourself a lot of aloe vera aloe vera is not mandatory but well it will help next thing you will need four wood four sticks minimum you will also need a four dry leaves minimum and you will need a bow drill which can be used at least four times other than that well grab some extra wood because you will need it and uh, grab some food and and water and then uh, well put these into your storage containers then we're gonna go into our adventure this is a point of no return this shaft is a killer if you go down this thing without any climbing skill we have no climbing skill right now you will not be able to get back up so you will need to find another way uh, out and once we go down here there's gonna only be one way forward so we're gonna go down here don't worry too much about this thing taking one hour and 15 minutes it's better to take a little bit longer and bring more wood with you rather than uh, well <laughs> take a little bit less but you don't have enough supplies anyhow <laughs> let's go and see what happens so here we can get some bruises or some cuts even so this time we got some bruises, nothing super crazy. You can heal that once you get back home. I'll take a little bit of a break now. So now we are inside the medium chamber. In order to explore this thing, you'll need a source of light. Since we didn't bring any candles, we're gonna have to use the wood and uh, the, the sticks. So here we're gonna light our first fire. There we go and uh, i will lessen the load so i can more easily explore so for our first trip through the tunnel system we want to find uh, the next shaft yes we'll find some more copper ore and if you explore it a little bit more you can also find some other interesting thing in here but uh, for now we just want to get out oh yeah by the way also one important thing even if it is raining you will not be able to collect the water value inside the cave so i'll make sure to bring plenty uh, it should be way, way more than enough actually so around i want to say yeah 70 percent here we're gonna find a shaft so we don't need this fire anymore if you want you can sleep now but anyway uh, take your wood take your sticks and we're gonna go down another shaft here um let's place no not really needed okay i'm gonna leave this fire here and let's go down some more this time take a little bit less because we have less load and that's uh, just amazing then this time we got some bruises that's fine don't worry you're not gonna bleed out from abrasions and stuff it will make you a little bit unhappy but well happiness is not the miner's life right anyway uh low chamber another time exactly the same thing either make a fire or use your candle of course candles are way easier and explore it so we want to find a narrow tunnel this time or something like that narrow passage i believe another copper vein for those who are counting how much copper there is oh you greedy greedy people who want to see how to get through the tunnel system and i did tell you it's not necessary but you were like no 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 we still want to know it there's a narrow tunnel and we're gonna stop here for now uh don't forget your wood and um it's gonna take 30 minutes interesting thing is this will always take 30 minutes no matter how much load you have so this one's actually pretty easier uh let's go and drink a little bit and we're also gonna eat uh, this is optional for now you don't really need to do it but your character is gonna be in a better shape if you do it there we go and this fire well we're gonna leave behind and go into the tunnel system and now things get a little bit well harder uh, we're gonna start yet another fire here so this is the third one 
And this one will actually add another piece of wood to it, so that's there. And we're gonna start it. This is our third leaf that we used, and we're gonna explore it now. This place, well, this place has a nasty surprise for us, which will be painful, but hey. Another copper vein, though. So, don't just don't get tempted and, like, uh, grab the copper veins. Uh, you really don't want to do it right now. You want to do it... Oh, actually, no surprise yet. Okay, this is easier than I remember. <laughs> okay, so we found the damp chamber and we can enter it. Okay, uh, I will actually go and sleep here because we're super tired. Uh, so, yeah. Cool. I'm gonna take a nap here. So I guess you don't need to like put extra wood on this fire. And okay, we're gonna eat a little bit more and then we're gonna do the final step. There, we're gonna drink. There, good. Uh, right. Store pot, I guess. And let's go to the final step here. We're getting a little bit stressed out. This is a lot of work. And we're gonna build our last campfire here, so that's the fourth stick, and uh, well, fire, not campfire. So that's the fourth stick and the sixth wood. There we go. Although we did use one extra wood, we didn't really need, but that's okay. And this is the fourth dry leaves that we're gonna use. And I'm gonna explore the damp chamber. And there we go. And we found some unsafe water. This is really good. This is replenishable water supply. This might be a good reason to want to do this if you're struggling with water. But what you're really looking for is a way out. And lo and behold, the narrow passage blocks our path. Of course, we ha if we had some dynamite now, we would be able to just to blow it up. However, we don't, so we'll have to dig through it. And this is the hardest part. This will take 10 hours. So this is the part where you need enough fuel for a campfire here to be able to actually dig through and also if you're like sleepy or something or stressed out you might faint here so make sure that the fire is nice and full before that happens so if you have any wood left over put it on a campfire there well fire and yeah your hands will take a beating here that's it that's like that's like one unavoidable thing and there we go a little bit more thirsty hungry and well we are going crazy and bam we are done we are done and uh, we found uh, the way to the dark cave and uh, that's about it we're gonna drink some water let's see what our state is so our hands are really really hurt we are super in pain because of all the hurt and the wound we got while climbing down and we are exhausted demoralized however now you have a path through the tunnel system you can enter through uh, eastern highlands go down two shafts and come out here through the dark cave the round trip if you're not overburdened takes around one hour so you can mine so we can exit here and get access to the wetlands but yeah if you enter in highlands and go downwards through the through the shafts, there is very low chance of injury. You always succeed even if you get injured because you're going down. You can mine all the copper. And uh, once you feel like things are getting a little bit uh, too stressed out for you, you can exit it through wetlands. Your first trip that I just did will be the worst. And uh, yeah, also the most dangerous if you run out of dry leaves, if you run out of fuel scandals or water, uh, you will die inside the cave and no one will ever find you. But that's it. Uh, that uh, concludes this tutorial. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Uh, after this, you will probably want to go and heal up a little bit, recover, and well, then you can go and grab all your juicy, juicy copper in there. I wish you all to have a wonderful day. Do something nice, be kind to each other, and let's make the world a better place together. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. The Neomer signing out. Bye-bye. A little bit of a bonus cache here just to show you how much easier it is to do this if you have candles and dynamite actually, although it is not really needed. Okay, I'm gonna start up the candle here. And uh, we're gonna go down the shaft. And then now we're gonna be using these candles to explore.
Once you find the second shaft, you can go down there as well. Just make sure that your candle doesn't run out or bring enough leaves with it if it does. We got a little bit wounded here, nothing too shabby. Sometimes you get bruises, sometimes you get uh, wounds, but that will heal pretty fast, so don't worry about it. Anyhow, let's continue exploring. Okay, we found a narrow tunnel, we're gonna enter it. My candle's still burning strong though, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna explore the tunnel next. Okay, we found a damp chamber, my candle's almost gone, I'm gonna light up another one. It would be close, but almost that one would be enough. Anyhow, let's go there. And finally, I'm gonna be exploring the damp chamber here. One of the candles will run out, we have another one ready here. Okay, once you find the narrow passage, you can dig through it. I'm not sure how many candles you really need, but I'm gonna say probably like one or two. Bring more if you're gonna dig through it manually. If you have a dynamite, you can just blow it up like we did before. And uh, uh, boom, we are basically done here. We reached the dark cave. We are in much better state than last time. And well, if you're unsure, this is the way to do it. Just grab some candles, make a piece of dynamite, and then you can do it easy peasy. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next one. Neymar signing out. Bye bye.